Spending two weeks cooped up for inside for coronavirus is a drag, especially when it isn't necessary. Newsline reporter Santa, Savannah Osler tells us the sad story of the false positive. Savannah. BYU students who test positive for COVID-19 are required to participate in a two-week quarantine, but what happens when students receive the wrong results? When Samantha Webb got exposed to corona, she took action and got tested at the BYU Health Center. She got her results back the same day and found out she tested positive for corona. So I got a call from the health center and my mom checked my account and said that I was positive, so I had no reason to believe that I wasn't positive. And it kind of sucked because we had lots of big plans that weekend and the following weeks, but we had to cancel them all because of it. A few days later, the health center contacted Samantha and told her she did not have corona. Her result was actually a false positive. Her sister and roommate, Chassa Webb, also had to quarantine even though she tested negative. I am very grateful that it was three days instead of two weeks because the three days went by very slowly. So I'm glad that it was short, but also those days were super fun. Got to bond with my roommates. It was great. We had some fun dance parties, ate lots of food. Watch BYU win a football game, so it, all in all, it was really good. Okay, so, false positives and false negatives are a side effect of getting tested for COVID-19. Here's where we're going to be quarantined the health for the next say few days. should remain cautious when going about their normal activities. Reporting for Newsline in Provo, I'm Savannah Osler.